Oh, welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast show. It's Espresso. And let's be real with ourselves. People love a body transformation, especially looking at and admiring the final sculpted results. Well, actor and presenter Fazile Makanya, and he's here to give us the scoop on how he has done it. Now, after this particular photo of this beloved actor, presenter, and entrepreneur, Fazila Makanya, went viral in November, he went from being everyone's eye candy to Mzanzi's man crush every day. He is here throughout the morning to add a little flavor to the Expresso show this morning, dude. Welcome. Thank um, you, man. So good to have you here. So good to see you. Yes, uh, it's been well, a while. <laughs> it makes me miss Josie when I, I, I see guys who have, who have a, a similar DNA. Obviously, we share a connection to SABC yes. One from, from back in the day, certainly. But um, I've got to take you back even further. Where, you know, the physique says a lot about the kind of man that you are. But I don't know if people know that you were destined for a career in rugby, that that was kind of a passion. What drew you away from that life because it could have been a very different life true, for you true, bro. True. what what drew you to this side did you do your knee in what was the because <laughs> <laughs> uh, a lot of my rugby mates yep. that, you know it's, it's ended a lot of very yep. promising careers but wh why get into the entertainment industry okay so when i when i left kzn to come to johannesburg i had a scholarship at one of the universities in, in gauteng and i remember when i got there and i was like actually i don't want to do something different now and my sister was like why don't you then like try some adverts uh, and roll through unisa and then see what happens. I kid you not, my third audition, uh -huh. in the space of a month that I got, first 27,000 rand ever, <laughs> my life. Especially when you've never had that before. Do ever. Like... <laughs> got it, and then, it, you know, the rest was history. And I, I just thought to myself, I want to do something that's, that's different, that's challenging. When you come from a very small town called Empangin in, in KZN, the north coast side of KZN, there are not many opportunities. Uh, so you, when you move, rural, exactly. Like Indian, so when you yeah. come to Johannesburg, literally it's a, you know, Jimmy comes to Joburg and you're like, <laughs> what? There's so many opportunities that are available. So I thought to myself, why not? I didn't have the education, I didn't have the experience, but I thought I could still do this. Maybe the open mind is the most important thing. Maybe yes. not, not knowing what your boundaries or limitations Definitely. were. Maybe that helped you in the long run. Yes, it did. You've become a huge inspiration looking at your following and how quickly you're growing on online. That, that's got to be a, a, a kind of, validation on a yeah, level true purely superficially okay because you are very much a physical brand now as much as you're a fantastic performer and actor and i mean you're a good looking dude and your body is just oh ridiculous. thank you great oh well, great i'm stoned toned now toned. <laughs> um, do, do you feel that pressure as a guy we know that with with women in the industry a lot of our friends in the industry do feel that pressure and that plays out in social media in, in many ways do you feel the pressure as a man if you remember when we were still doing the continue to presenting <laughs> thing back then then. I wouldn't say there was much pressure, yeah. but now that as time is going on and we're getting older and the guys are getting younger and they're looking Don't know what better, you're talking about, man. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of think that there is a bit of pressure, but not that we're competing with anyone, but I think it's also yeah. just for health purposes as well. So maybe to answer your question, not really. It, it was more a personal thing to actually do the whole gym thing. Yeah, wait until you're out of shape with then we'll talk, <laughs> then we'll talk about it. But that is, it becomes a part of... Uh, to, from my perspective, you get more work when you're in better shape. Yeah. Simple as you're that, correct. dude. Correct. Um, what advice do you have for someone who's wanting to, to build that element into their own life? Not necessarily just from a, a aesthetic point of view, but to be yeah. healthier, to be happier. What advice do you have for someone who wants to live physically? I think people need to understand that we all have different types of bodies. Yeah. So you need to actually work along with how your body is structured. So whether you go see a dietitian and actually figure out what actually what kind of food and exercises would work for you and what is it that, that you would yeah. like to achieve, then because for example I can't compete with an Arnold Schwarzenegger, I'm not as tall as him. <laughs> Naturally, I'm not that big. I'm a skinny guy. I'm a slim fit guy. So I do Backline, things yeah. exactly. I do things that are more appropriate to how my body structure looks like. I love that, dude. So good to, to hear your voice even, man. It's really <laughs> great to have you here, dude. Thank you so much. Fazile is going to be with us all morning. We're going to chat a bit more about how he balances his personal life and this incredible career that he is growing and building. Uh, I know he says we've both been around for a while, but I have a feeling he's just getting started, so stick around. It's my feel-good breakfast show. Actor and presenter Fazile Mkanya and our very own Graham Richards have something in common. Now, they both started their illustrious careers in Zanzi's entertainment industry as continuity presenters on SABC One. So let's see if they can find anything else in common with each other. 
We're back with Mzanzi's man crush every day, Fezile Makanya, on Express this morning. Loving having him here. We're talking about all the ins and outs of his experience of being in the South African entertainment industry. Um, Guy, thank you so much again for, for making the time to join us and, and letting us kind of really get the time to delve into your life at the moment because I, I hope you have taken on board and you look at the reactions that you get online and, and from the viewers that, that you are an, an inspiring guy. Um, you, you're kind of putting out a particular kind of image that South Africa needs to see. Yes. Dude. You need to have that. SABC1 is part of our DNA, as we said. Like, did it feel like you were an overnight success? Things happened very quickly because SABC1, I don't think people realize how big their market is. Yeah. And I found that as like the only white kid on that show. Suddenly it was like, whoa, okay, so this is South Africa. Did you feel like it, like you were an overnight success? Look, before I joined SABC1, I was with the other broadcaster. <laughs> um, but coming to SABC, like, you had oh. no idea. Like, it was like a bomb that just blew up, you know, everywhere you go. I mean, going to the malls and stuff back in KZN, like I said before, like, people recognizing you. You're like, wow, you watched the show as well? You know, it, it, it was amazing. It was an, it was an amazing experience um, doing it for, like, the past three, four years. I think I was the youngest presenter as well at the time. time yeah. So I had a great time, and it also opened up other opportunities as well. Funny thing is, though, during the links, or after the links, I used to study. Because yeah. I paid my own tuition um, doing the SABC. How did you do that, man? Yeah. It was crazy. Like, juggling that and work wasn't easy, but, you know, it had to be done. It had to be done. The drive is there. It's always a little bit easier when you've got the right girl at your side. You and Sekho have been married since 2015. Hey, how you know right? her name, man? Oh, how you know man. her name? How you know Dude. her name? What you, what you um, <laughs> Without, because I'm, I'm fiercely private. Like, I mean, I share a lot on this show, but it kind of mm. feels like that kind of show. People know us, but there's boundaries and there's yes. lines, yes. which we have to maintain. Uh, how do you handle the, the schedule, the demands? Because you're always on as a presenter. Yeah. You know, people know you. They, you can't ever just turn it off and be like, no, True. I don't want to talk. True. I don't want to, you know? Yeah. How do you find that balance? Look, I don't, do think, <laughs> I don't think you can ever find a balance. If someone said that they do, I, I, I would say they, they're not talking the truth yeah. because you, you never do, actually. But the one thing that I value about myself is that because I'm someone that is known publicly, the only thing that I'd like to be mine and mine alone is the relationship that I have with my partner. Yeah. So the agreement that we have, and luckily for me, thank God, she is not a public person. Yeah. She's a corporate nine to five, and that's where she likes to stay. Doesn't care who you are. She, no, she doesn't. <laughs> Funny enough, I'll tell you on our first date, one of her first questions was like, So listen, I Googled you, and you're, <laughs> you're famous. What do you do? <laughs> Like, why do people know you? Like, we just sat down and people are like, you're a fitness model. What? Like, what are you? This is way before the fitness. And like, I don't know if I could actually do this. And I'm like, please, actually, I, I would like to, you know, try this again. Can we go, like, for a second date kind of thing? Uh, but cool, I think it's man. important for us to actually value our privacy as, as yeah. public figures. It really is. Because uh, once you give that away, you can never get it back, dude. It's I gone. Know, it's man. I've got to ask one question because this maybe, and you can tell I'm, I'm feeding off you here. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to solidify things in my own mind. Are you an actor? Who presents or a presenter who acts? <laughs> I think I'm a presenter who acts and an actor who presents. It's a bit of both. So where, where I'm supposed to be presenting, I think I'm acting. acting. Where I'm supposed to be acting, I think I'm presenting. I don't know. Uh, what are you, actually? Uh, I'll, I'll take dude, it from, I'll take you know your cue. What uh, Whatever I'm, you say is what I'll... Okay, well, from now on, you're professionally fizzile. That's it, I'm professionally Thank you. Graham. Yeah. Finish. I don't know clap. where the, the line begins and ends. <laughs> oh, buddy, we're going to have a little bit of fun. We're going to delve into, into some of those do's and don'ts within the industry and, and push you. See, have you ever, ever, really ever done some of these crazy things or not? But we're going to have a little bit of fun. Fazile is here for another segment. Just one more, so stick around. It's my feel good breakfast show. Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. Now, if you've ever played a game of Never Have I Ever, you know how stressful it can be and to be put on the spot to answer some brutal questions. Well, that's exactly what Mzanzi's man crush every day, Fazile Makanya, is about to go through. Let's see how he does. We're back with actor and presenter, or presenter and actor, Fazile Makanya. We're about to jump into a game of Never Have I Ever. So here's how it works. I'm going to ask him a set of questions that he will reveal some truth, some, some pretty dark truths if we're lucky. Um, and if he has actually done the activity in question, he has to then reveal the story behind it. And mm. 
I know you're, you're quite private about some of the things that you've done, but I'm going to ask you, dude, lift the veil now. Lift the veil, bro. I'm going to push you because everyone has to be blatantly honest. Right? Okay, quick question before we start. <laughs> when we leave this, will I still have to have my ring <laughs> yeah, on? Yeah, yeah, no, there's I, no, I did actually go through this before. It was all good, bro. You're, you're all good, man. Uh, no, we, we would never do that. We want you to come back at some stage. So, okay, so we're going to race into it. I'm going to ask you, never have I ever, and then you're going to respond to the, the rest of the question, okay? And, and truthfully, bro, I trust you, dude. We've got respect okay. okay so never have i ever used the line do you know who i am to get something i want actually no i've never really no really ever. Have, you, have you have you been pushed to have you almost used it <sighs> no i'll be honest no I, th I don't know if i have actually never have i ever turned down a role because of the potential to work with someone i don't get along with i was once audition i once auditioned for a role I was gonna be a, a boyfriend to someone and that someone was gonna be my sister. I was like, never. Hell no. Ever. Oh, fair game, fair game. <laughs> never have I ever thought of calling in sick to work because of a big night or otherwise. I've done it before, I'll be honest. A couple of times, actually. Not, not with your current employer, though. No, 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 no. <laughs> with the other... With the other, the other the employer. Other, other, other. <laughs> That's the only answer I'm going to allow you to give for that one. Uh, never have I ever pretended not to hear a fan when they called my name in public. Look, I've pretended too many times. I've, I've done that many times. When um, was the most recent? Did it happen at the airport? <laughs> Coming I here? think it happened like uh, two weeks ago. Uh, I was at some shop, and these three ladies passed me, and can you Vesile. Like I kind of pretended to be on my phone. I think I was going through something that day, but I was like, not real life was happening. I was like, not today. Uh, with me, it's always uh, Michael, 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 Mo, Michael, Mo. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, our final question. Never have I ever emceed for an event while under the influence. No, never, never. Because no. you can't. No. <laughs> Look, um, I've, I've worked with someone before that yeah. has. In fact, it was recently. <laughs> yeah, it was actually quite recently. But uh, it, yeah, look. Uh, you, was it a guy or a girl? It was a guy. Was it a, a guy? It Older a than guy. you or younger than you? Pretty much the same age, actually. Pretty much the same yeah. age. In the, in the same channel or a different channel? Same channel. I won't say you. <laughs> About your height, a little shorter. I'm not going to say. <laughs> Oh, buddy, you've been a good sport, dude. It, it really has been so awesome to catch up Thank with you. Thank you so much for honesty, your time. I really much do appreciate it. it. Hopefully you've still got a relationship, still got a job. So you I can come so back well. anytime, dude. Uh, but an absolute pleasure, my brother. Thanks you're, so a, lot, man. you're a superstar. Thanks. All the best of luck. Stay awesome. in shape. Keep inspiring people and Thank keep you. savoring the work in the way that you are. Thank Clearly, you. you're having a blast, dude, and that's the most important Definitely. Thing. Thank you so much for the invites. We do this for the people, and as long as they're enjoying it, we'll keep on doing it. And he won't pretend not to hear you if you pass in the <laughs> airport on his way home. So just call him, okay? Um, dude, thank you so much. Um, and that's been an unbelievable morning, actually. I really am so grateful with them. Zanzi's man crush every day. Fezile Makanya.